Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Cambridge Evolve textbooks in our Blackboard courses and how to use them to engage students further. So in your standard layout of courses, when you will have your courses assigned, you will see them under the courses. So there you will click on the content section and then build content and then you will see down over here Cambridge one dashboard so it will take a few seconds for you to see that it takes time I think for the first time and then you will see all of these uh, books so you like to add them so you can just select all of them and then click add that is below all right so as you can see I have all of these four books in my account so once I have done that so each book is listed here so you will just access the books that you are teaching and you have the codes of all the contents that you can see over here these are six of them that belong to this particular level are accessible for free but in uh, except test generator and presentation plus they require codes that you must have received in your emails by now that I'll demonstrate in a while so you can just open these things one by one to have a look at what these contents are so you have the workbook available here so you would like to look at these things and then anything that you would like the students to do there is a way of linking it as a task here and connecting it in the blackboard so that it appears in the blackboard of the students so for instance I have taught unit 1 today and I would like them to do some extra practice so I can just click here and I can add a link to this unit in their blackboard so as you can see it says success link to Cambridge one content created so where has it gone I can go back in the content section where I started from this is empty at the moment I'll just click refresh and you should see evolve special edition digital workbook unit 1 I have linked this and the students are also seeing this and I can later follow up on this to check if they have done this or not and how many students have done that so going back here I'll click back button on the browser and I'm back here where I was so like this once we uh, we have seen how to add the content and so we can add the content from the Cambridge dashboard on to directly in our blackboard where students can do that do those things as tasks that we assign them as we continue teaching them physically in the classrooms through their books so any task that I assign them to do I can follow up on that just to be sure that the students are doing those tasks by clicking on marking that will bring me here on the left side it will show me once the students have attempted the task or the content I have created for them in blackboard it will appear here with the names so I'll just click on the task itself and it will show me how many students have done it what has been their performance you can share the link to ebook itself that's the soft copy of the book that's not downloadable but they will have access to the audio and the video uh, files of the book integrated for them to practice their listening so you can actually uh, create a link for students to the book as well so that's for the content that you can direct, directly share as for these two things presentation plus and test generator you must have received a code by now you click presentation plus it will ask you for an activation code so my codes are here so I have copied them onto a notepad and uh, this is my code for presentation plus level one this is my code for teachers edition with test generator level one so I am going to 
copy this and making sure that I enter the correct code in the correct place. Now this is special, English, uh, special edition level one presentation plus. So I'll just copy and paste the code here. I'll activate this. So once I do that, it's going to either ask me to launch it online or it will ask me to download it on my computer. It's a hefty file of around one GB. So this is basically a presentation friendly file of the whole book. Of course, this is uh, something you can use if you are connected uh, to a data show inside the classroom. So you would like to show things in the classroom with the audio and video and everything being played right inside the book. So you can do that here. So after entering the code, you'll be able to download it to play in the classroom offline or online directly as well. But in both cases, you need the code. That's one thing. Entering the code is just once. Once you have done that, you don't need to enter it again and it will remain activated on your account. So I'll just launch it online just to demonstrate what Presentation Plus looks like. So as you can see, I have opened the book itself in Presentation Plus. So every content that I can see on the screen here is clickable. I want to listen to this. I'll just click. It will show me a player. Unit 2. So it Lesson will go on 1. With that. And for these, for this part where there is a real student and the students can actually scan the QR, so I can actually just click here directly and it's going to open a video for me and it will play right here. So yes, there's no I lag agree. or nothing. And if so. you have downloaded this on your computer, ideally speaking, that's going to be the best thing. So uh, this is Presentation Plus. Now I'll go back and I'll show you how Test Generator works as well with the code that we are provided in our emails by now. So I'll go back and here we are. Now here is a test generator. I click this one, activation code. The second code is here. Teachers edition with test generator level one. I must emphasize the right code has to go in the right place. So I'm sure I'm entering it in the right place first and I'll just paste it, activate it and all right. So again, well, I'll download it and I'll demonstrate that to you shortly. Okay, the file is downloaded and it downloads as a zip file. We are talking about test generator. I have unzipped it and I'll just click on uh, install in Windows. Okay, and I'll click next, next, and next, and install. So it installs independently on your computer. It doesn't require you to be online, so you can actually do it in free time to generate a test and take printouts directly. So once it's done, Okay, as you can see, so you have uh, many options here. There is a unit quizzes, which uh, are based on the units you are teaching. It's a quiz generator for level one. So I have unit one and unit, unit one, A, B, if I would like to create two versions, which are entirely different, but having the same components of the language that I have taught. And I can just click ready made. In this case, it's going to save as a zip folder which will contain two as you, you can go on testing it and it has some baseline tests which you can start at the beginning of the semester and then there are midterm tests like from unit 1 to 6 and 7 to 12 these two are available here and then there is a final test also which can give you an idea that the scores students have done in the baseline how much have they improved so these are uh, 
pretty standard stuff and they are really helpful. So the tests that you create yourself will appear here under my tests. So this is, uh, this is uh, pretty much what we are dealing with here. So I'll just go back to that overview where we have each book given to us in the soft shape. As you can see, there are six things in one book. Each one of them has the same thing. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps.